What up guys, it's Brinks, and welcome to my monthly first impressions guide on Movado and Smoke. So, given that Movado has been out for a bit, this will be more of a synergy guide, kind of summary of this team, but not quite to the level of detail that I try to put into my cameo class episodes. So, basically I'm going to go through all of Movado's moves, and give a rundown of what Smoke can do with them, since he does give us quite a few neat tools. I'm just not sure if it's enough to really rival something like Chameleon or Scorpion, or especially Cyrax if they don't nerf Chopper again in the patch later today. But he's definitely a really fun cameo for Smoke, so let's get into it. Starting with the funny clothesline move. This move is actually pretty damn good, and it's much better than you might think. It is a 19 frame move that hits from full screen. That's kind of insane. You can't combo from it, and you do take 2% damage for landing it, but it gives Smoke access to a full screen punish option that he doesn't normally have. Teleport and Vicious Vapors are way too slow to fit this role, and as you can see, it lets us punish certain things that would normally be way too far or difficult to punish. Basically, anything that is negative enough can be punished regardless of pushback, since Movado comes from behind the opponent. We can also kind of use it to threaten or check characters with full screen options, like a Quan Chi setting up portals, and can make them think twice about doing stuff like that. Another cool thing about the move is that we get up before the opponent does, and we're now in their face, which is where we want to be. So it's quite advantaged if you land it. On top of all that, it's super plus on block for some reason, so you can just throw it out in block pressure or even at round start to jump scare your opponent and try and get first hit bonus. Keep in mind, there is an armor gap during block strings though. And it's a high that can obviously be ducked if you get too predictable with it. And it's also not great at with punishing projectiles specifically since you'll usually still get hit if they're already traveling to you. All in all though, it's a solid full screen punish option that gets us in that is both way safer and way faster than any of our teleports, and it's a pretty powerful YOLO option to just throw out when you hear the call of the crayons. Next up, let's talk about his slide. So this move is also much better than it seems at first glance, and while it can only be used during knockdowns, it kind of gives smoke access to a lot of interesting pressure or invis setups. While it can be used to add a slight bit of damage to the end of certain combos, it still scales, so this isn't really worth it in my opinion, because you'll only add like 1 or 2% damage, maybe. You're better off delaying it slightly so that it connects during the opponent's wake up frames, in which case it totally prevents their wake up options. It either hits them for a nice little 5%, or they have to hold block. In both cases, their wake up armor won't even come out. The best part of this move for smoke is in making them block it as it leaves you very plus. In which case, we get to set up invisibility for little risk, or set up some other dumb pressure options. One such setup that I've found is after a jump 112 knockdown, you can time the slide to make a forward 4 completely jail during their wake up. Meaning that if they block the Movado slide, they cannot duck the forward 4 and have to take the plus frames or try to flawless block it. And since Movado hits right before Smoke does, it seems to armor break in this situation pretty easily. Unfortunately, it seems we can't really set up EX Smoke Bomb with the slide after a knockdown, because in my testing at least, I couldn't make it tight enough that the EX Smoke Bomb was actually safe since if you call Movado early, then the opponent is still able to jump or anti-air smoke after blocking the slide. If you delay Movado to try to stop the opponent from jumping or anti-airing, then they can just jump air-to-air -air smoke before Movado even gets anywhere near them and the slide will just go under them. The safer version of this setup to go invis seems to be just going for the smoke port invisibility and calling Movado early enough to cover you. Especially after a 1114 knockdown or even vicious vapors, there is a kind of sweet spot where the slide will prevent your opponent from jumping out and it will leave smoke plus enough that if they mash to try to punish your invis, you'll be able to block by this point, so it's safe. All in all though, Movado's slide seems like a very unique and strong move 
that smoke can use for some weird knockdown pressure in mind games, and that's always fun. Time will really tell though how strong it ends up being for smoke, but my early read is that it's probably going to be something we'll want to use quite often after knockdowns. Next up is the most unique move that Movado has, and that's because it's a whole new mechanic completely unique to him, which is this flawless block reversal move, or push block as I'm going to refer to it. The move will be situational and pretty matchup dependent, but it gives us a way to escape certain pressure sequences for less resource than getting hit and using a breaker would cost. Smoke's armor move especially is kinda dog shit, but Movado gives us the ability to spend 2 bars plus half cameo to reset neutral after a flawless block. The cool part is, you don't have to activate it on the hit that you flawless block and can, for example, flawless block the first hit of a string and then still trigger it on the final hit of the string. It is also a true like reversal, and it seems to let you get out of pretty much any pressure scenario, though you still take a little bit of damage from the hit, provided you meet the requirements to activate the move. Finally, since you're essentially cancelling your block stun into this attack, you can punish a shitload of otherwise safe moves with this. It only does 5%, but at the end of a round, this becomes a real threat if you pull off a clutch flawless block. It's kinda cool. Now we're on to the really fun stuff with the last few moves. Starting with the two bungee moves, which give us a lot of combo extensions. Most importantly, it gives us easy extensions from teleport, our entire back two string, and forward four. Speaking of which, forward four is typically going to be your follow-up after the bungee unless the gravity is low enough that you can pick up with forward one two grab, such as after a back two three four. You can also usually combo into another Movado after forward 4 if you want to cash out completely. It leads to pretty good damage either way though. Unfortunately, since the move only comes out during whatever the game considers a juggle, we can't use it to extend from our throw, Vicious Vapors, Shadow Blade, or 1114 because those don't count for some reason. Overall though, it is a pretty standard though limited combo extender ambush that gives us pretty easy high damage combos, including the ability to combo into invisibility in a few different ways with an EX smoke bomb combo. Finally, let's talk about the move that you'll probably be picking Movado for, which is this trap mine. It causes a pretty long capture state that you can combo from, and the wild part is it's an ambush. That means smoke gets quite a few unique applications for it, so for one, we get throw combos. And with as often as we're throwing people, being able to do over 20% is pretty solid from a throw, especially since the cameo meter pretty much regens halfway by the end of the combo. And then we can also combo from smoke bomb and shadow blade, which means two things. Armor combos from EX Smoke Bomb, which we normally need Tremor for. And also new grounded combo routes, as I'll show right now. Unfortunately, the mine doesn't extend 1114 or Vicious Vapors mid-screen, but in the corner we can full combo from Vicious Vapors, which is pretty strong for cancel mine games. It's also just going to be a really strong setup tool, because it creates a constant hitbox the opponent has to block if they're standing on it. For example, 
we can place the mine and hit them with forward three or throw as they're standing up into it to trigger the hitbox of the mine and get a full combo if they block wrong. Obviously, we can also use it to break wake up armor as well. So setups like these are probably going to be the most powerful application of the mine, aside from extending throw damage. If you use the mine at the beginning of a combo, there is always enough time for us to dash up into 3-2, into forward 1-2 grab, into whatever special. But you can also just toss an EX smoke bomb during the mine stun into jump 1-1-2 for invisibility, though I'm not sure this is a great use of the entire cameo bar when we can also just do a full combo off the stun into a normal invisibility setup, but it is there. Overall though, it is a very strong move, and Movado seems like a very strong cameo. I'm just still on the fence whether he's strong enough for smoke to pick over something like Scorpion, Chameleon, Sector, Striker, whatever. Especially since Movado takes away 100 health, which is quite substantial. Either way though, he's a really fun cameo, with quite a few unique tools, and at the very least, he's gonna be on the long list of cameos that Smoke has good synergy with. And unless you're trying to win Combo Breaker or Evo or something, Smoke is pretty free to pick from quite a vast selection of really solid cameos that can do really cool shit, and Movado is definitely one of them. But that's gonna do it for my early thoughts on Smoke and Movado. So thank you guys very much for watching. You are all awesome and forever appreciated. Scorpion Cameo Class episode is the next big project. Now that I'm back from my sister's wedding and all that's done. And I might squeeze in a Combat League video during the week. So stay tuned. Like the video if you want to show support. That would be awesome. And subscribe if you really want to see more guides like this. Otherwise, later.